Hi, everybody. My name is Lin Xiaozhang. Um, I am a MA student from Birmingham City University School of Jewelry, and my major is jewelry and related products. I have been studying art and design for the most five to six years, and today I will give you a presentation which is about my paper theme. It breaks through in the traditional combination of psychology and interaction design, the wearable devices. I subdivided my whole presentation into four parts. The first part is the application of psychology in interactive design field. The second part is the Application of interactive design nowadays, and this case study part is a third part: the application of interactive design in wearable devices field. Finally, is the conclusion and the future. Let's move to the first part: the application of psychology in interactive design field. Uh, the combination of psychology and interactive design is a design philosophy based on the principle of humanist design, which focuses not only on physical healing but on inner observation and interaction, and is currently a really important branch of contemporary design. Let me take the HDL for example, the hum Humanities Design Lab, which was founded in November, twenty eleven, in the Design Depart Department in Italy. This department aims to extend and exemplify the innovative contributions of humanities to design and to make visible the knowledge. Networks that surround design. In the past time, human design was limited to solving the most basic problem from life. But in the future, it is sustainable nature should be integrated with other disciplines to give design more meanings. Why it is important to consider psychology in art and design? Daily life and business are full of products or artworks, and behind this object, there is a wealth of knowledge, of which psychology is very important part. From traditional design to contemporary design to design psychology. Has evolved over decades of experimentation, and from the simplest problem-solving design and human-centered design, this is a responsibility of the designer and is one of the key ideas of European humanism. We often think in humanist. Term about how a designer works can be, can be maximized in terms of its function as well as its forms. Psychology is one of the object to be considered, but absolutely, the subject I want to explore is not only about the aesthetic value of a products or artworks. But rather the things of experience as the primary viewpoint of contemporary design. The first example, the student graduated from the Royal College of Art Interaction Design. A driving system for driving safety and driver psychological changes was developed. This driving system comprehensively detects the driver's emotional changes 
when driving a motor vehicle and the designer designing the products from the driving experience, communicating with the driver through virus in car interaction to improve the driving safety. We present design led research focusing on identifying scenarios that contain normally unarticulated emotions and mental reminders that drivers use to make a general safer and develop concepts for in-vehicle interaction that assist with these rituals. Another example named and the picnic, which combines the knowledge from the field of human computer interaction with that of behavioral psycho psych psychology. The, the game named Picnic was designed to address the problem of children's fading difficulties by providing them with a deeper understanding of food and a new perception of how to enjoy and actively eat. As a broad field of interaction design, interaction design should not only be about a specific system or a large mechanical device, but variable devices are also an important aspect of this and they can often be used more frequent and more convenient than virtual system and huge machine with humans and more effective and more direct way of communicating with the user. This is a third part, the case study part, which is more related to design and art. This work names Kino, and it can move freely on the garment and create wrinkles on the clothing. The designer has created variable devices based on computer programming and jewelry shapes as shells which not only satisfy the various aesthetic pursuit of jewelry, um, but also provide fun to wear with an internal drive unit. Also, also outlines how personalized aesthetic is significant for the, for the meaning, making of novel on-body devices in the increasingly technolo technological contemporary society, the author has interpreted a new de definition of jewelry, and the combination of technology and jewelry has become one of the possibilities for the direction of contemporary jewelry development. Hooks. Um, this work with a really adorable appearance and variable electronics and smart textile are generating both academic and commercial interest. The designer utilized the material of animal fair touch, cardboard, silver motor and vibrator motor to make a interactive device to be worn on the shoulder. When participant touch this device and it it vibrates it, it vibrates like a living creature. The author tested the work by wearing it in different public places. And many people were very happy they are enjoyable to touch the very looking appearance. Which in effect brought them closer to strangers. This project not only suggests novel experience paradigms, but also work towards addressing intimate and social aspect of people's life. Important 
dimensions for the cultural relevance. As the MA student, uh, I have, I made, um, I think the most popular trend in the future, the wearable devices will be a really important part of jewelry. Uh, the AVPD hugging machine is one of my work this year. And what is AVPD? Is a, uh, I think it's a, uh, it's a mental illness academically. The AVPD is avoidant personality disorder. And this work used the way worn on the chest to stimulate an artificial robotic arm, which is driven by the force generated in the opposite direction than people hugging, than, than can people can, can give the hug to each other. According to the speculative design, the author invited students of the same major and some other major students the professor and the strangers to wear and experiment. And let them give me the feedback, uh, finally. The participant said, uh, this work looks an artificial intelligence device. Through the author's guidance, people are willing to try this work by two people to complete the display of this work. The participant wearing the work can give each other a hug without doing any action. A hugging, a hug brings the stranger closer to each other and can help people who are reluctant to express their inner emotions to express their love for those close to them. To conclude, um, this this paper same this paper demonstrates the importance of psychology and interaction design in the field of wearable devices through case study and also own experiments. The also hope to apply psychology and interaction design to wearable devices in more comprehensive way in the future. In the future design work, not only um, following the traditional design concept of problem solving, but also focusing on how wearable devices can communicate with people on a psycholog psychological level, bring them closer to each other and make wearable devices a psychological communication object for humans. Whether the products of the traditional design concepts, driving safety system and the picnic system, which are designed to solve problems for the sake of solving them, or contemporary design concept, hooves and kindle, which inject new concepts into contemporary design. This ba the basic idea of huma humanism is to bring more and better possibilities and meaning to human society through designers' products. Wearable devices are closely related to interaction design and psychology, and also needs to communicate further with people in both fields and push the boundaries of his work knowledge in the specific area to create an, a more meaningful and prom promising project. Thanks for your listening.